Hello. Hi, everybody. How's everyone doing? It's Roxy. I'm one of the head coaches here at the Face Yoga Method. I hope everyone is doing great today. Um, I wanted to pop in because today I'm going to share my favorite exercises for the neck area. How exciting is that? I'm excited for you because I'll tell you why they're my favorite exercises in a minute. First, I just want to say hello to everyone that's watching. Hi, Marita D. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday and I hope that this live makes your Friday even more fabulous because you're going to be doing your neck exercises and you're going to be toning your neck this weekend. So. I just want to say hi to everyone here. So hi, China Roberts, Dijan Gerond. Sorry, I butchered your name. Anyways, uh, Raluca, hello, hello. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, so yes, so today I want to share um, my favorite neck exercises with you. But before I get into the exercises, I just want to talk just a little tiny bit about the neck area, which is really important. So, hi, Letira, hi. Hi, April. Hi, Yolanda. Um, so, I know you've probably heard me saying this many, many, many times before, but posture, I would say, is probably one of the most important things to help with your face yoga practice and why this is important for the neck area specifically is because when you have poor posture your neck moves forward so I'm just gonna turn sideways so you can see your neck moves forward and so you can see that your neck is working harder to keep your head in place and you start building tension here so that tension that you build here can transfer up to your jawline, can give you headaches, it can cause a whole bunch of other things and it can get pretty uncomfortable with that tension build up. Sometimes people find it hard to even move their head from side to side like this because you have a lot of tension build up on your neck which also transfers to your shoulders, which everything is connected. That's all you gotta know, everything's connected. So this pain that sometimes you might feel on your neck sometimes can also be caused by fascia. Fascia, when it gets tight and you get tension build up here too, it can start to bring things down. So, before I start my exercises, I like to relieve some of that tension build up on my neck. And plus, the two exercises that I'll show you will not only relieve tension as well, it'll, they'll give you a good stretch on your neck and they're going to help tone and also help with lymphatic fluid. So, if you guys are ready to do this with me, Let's get started. I have done this stretch before and I gotta say I love it. It's one of my favorites because you can really feel the stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're going to tilt our head to the side like this, making sure your ear is parallel to your shoulder and then you're gonna feel that stretch there and we're gonna hold this for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, and, and let's do the other side. Now I have a little bit of a tip to help um, maybe get a little bit more benefit and help stretch out even more. So what I like doing sometimes is I like sitting on my hand and then I like to do the stretch. So if I'm going to sit on my right hand, I'm going to stretch to the left. So I already did my right. Let's to the left side. Ready? So let's let's put our hand under our legs or let's sit on our hand and let us now tilt our head to the left. Make 
making sure the ear is parallel to the shoulder and you're going to feel a nice stretch here all the way from your neck to your shoulder and let's hold for five seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Make sure not to overstretch. So if I do this and I'm really stretching, that's not good. You just want to put your hand under your legs, <laughs> you're sitting on it, and then you're going to tilt your head until you feel a nice stretch. Don't overstretch because you're just going to do more harm than good. Okay? So now that we've done our stretch, that's one of the stretches to relieve some of that tension. You can do that for another two sets, and you can hold for five seconds or ten seconds. Okay, now let's move on to the fun part. My two favorite face yoga poses. And the first one I love, 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 love is the swan neck. And I love it because the swan neck not only stretches your neck, it helps with lymphatic fluid and it tones your neck and your jawline. So that's why it's one of my favorite poses and I hope it becomes one of yours. So what we're going to do is we're going to just sit up straight, remember shoulder straight, and we're going to look to the right first, 45 degree angle, and then we're going to move our head to that direction. We're going to pucker our lips and we're going to hold this pose for five seconds. You should feel a nice stretch here. Don't overstretch. Ready? Let's hold for five. One, two, and come back to the middle. From here, we're going to look to our left. Now we're going to move our head to that direction. Pucker your lips and hold for five seconds. One, feeling that nice stretch here on the right side. Let's come back to the middle, to the center, and we're going to smile. You can do two more sets of that, holding for five seconds each, okay? That is such a great pose. You feel the stretch, your lymphatic fluids are moving, you're toning the jawline and the neck. Perfect pose that you can do anywhere. And now for my last pose, which I love doing, but I'm a little embarrassed to do it on video, but I will do it for you <laughs> because it entails sticking out your tongue which I don't like doing on the live video, but I will do it for you because I want you guys to learn this pose. Okay, here we go. The next pose is the double chin lift. And this is a great pose because it helps to relieve that double chin, right? Great pose for that. And it also tones the neck and jawline area, plus it gives you a nice stretch as well. Perfect pose for getting that beautiful neck. So, this is how you do it. So we're going to lift our chin up, we're going to look up to the ceiling, and now we're going to stick out our tongue to the ceiling. When you stick out your tongue, we're going to move it to the right, and we're going to hold for five seconds. Ready? And now we're going to move it to the left and hold for five seconds. Mm. 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 And come out. You should feel a nice stretch here on your neck, side of your neck. And for this pose, you can also do two more sets holding for five seconds on each side. And there you have it, my friends. I love these poses and I do them all the time because I want to have a nice firm neck. I have horizontal lines, which I believe are hereditary because I've had them for a long time. But 
this gives you a nice jawline and it tones your neck, it gets rid of all that puffiness, it helps with your lymphatic fluids, but I want you guys to work on your posture, okay? You need to work on your posture and last time I showed this amazing tip on how to use the Miko band that we have at Face Yoga Method. You can use any other bands, but that helps you to keep your shoulders up and your chest open. So work on your posture, but also work on your neck area too. By stretching it, give it a nice stretch and doing the exercises that I showed you today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my live. I know it was a little short, but short and sweet sometimes works best. <laughs> I don't want to take much of your time anyways, and I can see a lot of people here are saying hello and hi and Marie, hello. Thank you all. You're so welcome, Marie. So I hope you guys enjoy these exercises, and let me know if you guys do them, or if you practice them, or if it's something you've never done before, and this is the first time you do them. Let me know, because I want to know. I want to come and see what you guys say. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Friday and I hope to see you soon.